okay good morning students in last class what we are discussing so unpaired electrons single electrons are there means paramagnetic nature all electrons are paired means that is all electrons are paired so that means it is showing diamagnetic so here the important one is a magnetic momentum so magnetic momentum one formula is there so magnetic momentum indicated with mu that is under root of 4s into s plus 1 bohr magnetons otherwise mu equal to under root of n into n plus 2 bohr magnetons so here s is the total spin of the electrons n equal to number of electrons unpaired electrons s is a total spin total spin of the electrons next n equal to number of unpaired single electrons so any one you can apply either total spin also you can count otherwise the number of electrons number of unpaired single electrons are 1 2 3 4 So this is one, two, three, four, and so on. Here, unpaired electrons means one electron is there plus half. Two electrons are there one. So that is a three by two. So like that. So anyhow, the mu value you are getting the same only. The unit is a Bohr magneton. So for simply you can write it directly in the entrance point of view means just you count unpaired single electrons. Suppose if complex contains So n number of n small n number of unpaired electrons are there. Unpaired electrons are present. Then the mu value. No need to by heart anything directly. You can write n point seven to n point nine Bohr magnetons. So already we are discussing in D block element the same concept. Again, it is coming repeated because of the complex compounds are shown by D block elements only. Suppose one unpaired electron is there, one point seven Bohr magnetons. Suppose the three are there, three point eight Bohr magnetons. Suppose here five unpaired single electrons are there, means five point nine Bohr magnetons directly you can write. So in examples we can see that is also will come. We will discuss that also. Next, this magnetic properties are over. Now, based on this concept, so what they are given this five points. Suppose we are applying in the complexes. So then you will get a perfect about a complex compound. Suppose we are taking example. So example, sir. So in your theory also, one complex they will provide and they will ask this complex you explain according to VBT. So like that they will ask question. Suppose in entrance point of view means it is paramagnetic or diamagnetic, and what is the magnetic momentum? It is inner orbital or outer orbital. So otherwise, what is the structure of hybridization of bond and the like that they will ask. Suppose the famous compound we are taking K four E F E C N T K N six. This complex is there. So complete data about this complex according to V B T in what way? See here the iron. So iron is the central metal. What is the electronic configuration? Atomic number is twenty six. So you can write three D six, four S two, four P zero, four D zero, and four F also. F is not useful for us. Just you stop at D. So here, what will be the oxidation state? So outside four positives are there. 
So upon the complex, uh, you will get four negatives. In that, inside if you see, cyanide has, uh, every cyanide has minus one, six negatives. In six negatives, so four negatives already present on the top. Remaining two negatives only neutralizes. So that is a plus two. So iron plus two you take. So that means uh, two electrons are gone here. So 3D6, uh, 4S0, 4P0, 4D0. See, if you write the electronic configuration. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here. This. Next, cyanide. So already we told. So cyanide you buy heart as a strong field ligand. That is a, why it is a strong field it means that is the failure of VBT. So what he told us, Cn minus is a strong field ligand. So that's why metal electrons are paired. So metal electrons are paired means this all electrons are coming together. So 3D6, 4S0, 4P0, 4D0. So 3D6. So I am writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next, yes, P. So now every cyanide is donating pair of electrons to central metal ion. So cyanide, Cn minus, giving 1. Second cyanide, third cyanide, fourth cyanide, fifth cyanide, sixth cyanide. So then what happens, cyanide to ligand to metal is the sigma bond. Sigma bond is the responsible for the structure. So which is participated? So D orbital. Inside D orbital, next one S orbital, 3 P orbitals. So the hybridization is going to D2 SP3. Hybridization D2 SP3 means what will be the structure? Octahedral. So what will be the octahedral structure? So you take uh, iron is central. So write down 6 here. So Cl minus Cl. Next, outside is what? 4. K4. So this will be the structure. Next, here what happens? Uh, D, inner D orbital is participated. So that's why this complex is uh, inner orbital complex. Inner orbital complex. So we can write also IOC. Next, if octahedral structure means, uh, what will be the bond angles? Uh? 90 degrees is there, 180 degrees. The bond angles, they are asking. Next, so starting spin is what? Four unpaired single electrons are there. After cyanide is coming, all electrons are paired. So all electrons are paired means, this is what? Diamagnetic. So this is a diamagnetic substance. Then what about mu value? That is a zero Bohr magnetons. So this is one point. Next, spin is decreases. So that's why it is called as a low spin complex. So every point you write one by one means that is your theory. Suppose what happens it is magnetic. What is the mu value? Otherwise, which it is low spin or high spin? It is inner orbital or outer orbital? What is the hybridization? What is the structure? What are the bond angles? If one by one point they are asking means that is your entrance. Next, same manner, instead of cyanide, if we are putting chlorine, so that means low field, low field ligand. So then what happens? So now we will discuss that one. See, instead of cyanide, so I am taking a chlorine, Cl minus. So that is same thing. Here also iron 
that is the same value here it is what cl minus instead of cl minus we have taken cl so chlorine is a weak field ligand so then what happens metal electrons are not paired So electrons are not paired means as it is you can take it. See, instead of cyanide, I am writing chlorine. So same as it is. But instead of cyanide, chlorine is. Chlorine is a weak field ligand. Weak field ligand means metal electrons are not paired. So that's why. So as it is, you can write. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, yes. Here, P. Next D. So now every chlorine is giving a pair of electrons to this one chlorine, second chlorine, third chlorine. Fourth chlorine, fifth chlorine, sixth chlorine. So now what will be the hybridization? Ligand to metal is the sigma bond. So hybridization is a sp3. So this is sp3d2, which d is participated. So outer d, n d is participated. So that's why this is called as a outer orbital complex. So you can write OOC. So previous this is participated. So that's why inner orbital. Now this is participated. Why it is happened? The electrons are not paired. So next sp3d2 means what will be the hybridization structure means sp3d2 structure is octahedral. So this is also octahedral indicated with OH. So that's why K4 is outside, so iron is surrounded with six chlorines. So this is the octahedral structure. Next, if all starting also four unpaired single electrons, next after coming ligand also unpaired single electrons are there. So that's why this is what high spin complex. So HSC, because of uh, before ligand, so after ligand, spin is the same. So that's why high spin complex. Next, unpaired single electrons are there. So here, unpaired single electrons are present. So because of this, uh, these are showing paramagnetic nature. So these are showing a paramagnetic nature. Next, unpaired single electrons are four are there. So already I told, if unpaired single electrons are n is there, n point seven to n point nine, four unpaired single electrons are there. So that's why directly your answer is four point eight Bohr magnetons. So that is. This is also one of the entrance point of question. So paramagnetic nature, that is four unpaired electrons are there. So that's why directly you write 4.8 or 4.9. So Bohr magnetons. So see the difference uh, when cyanide is there, strong field line and when chlorine is there. So here in the presence of strong field, electrons are paired. You must concentrate. Next in the presence of weak field ligand, electrons are not paired. So why the electrons are pairing, why the electrons are not paired, this is also one of the failure of VBT only. So in failures we will discuss that point. Next, some more examples we will see. So NiCO4. So nickel carbonyl compound, if you see that nickel, 
nickel is what so iron cobalt nickel iron is 26 27 28 so nickel atomic number is 28 so you can write 3d8 4s2 4p0 4d0 next carbon monoxide oxidation state is 0 so that's why total complex also 0 so that's why nickel also 0 so now it is the same to say 3d8 so you can take as 8 electrons so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 next s also 2 electrons so p3 you can take d also next next carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is what is a strong field ligand carbon monoxide is a strong field ligand then what happens in metal free electrons are paid so electrons are paid so how you can write these two electrons also coming this side so then it become as 3d10 4s0 4p0 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 electrons are paid next smd p also empty next the carbon monoxide four carbon monoxides are there so one carbon monoxide second carbon monoxide third one fourth one so what will be the hybridization so hybridization is going to sp3 so what will be the structure tetrahedral bond angle is nearer to 109 degrees 28 minutes so nickel you take central you write down four carbon monoxides in the tetrahedral form next the d orbital is not participated so d orbital not participated so that means so you can't tell inner orbital complex outer orbital complex we can't tell so next it is what all electrons are paid all the electrons are paid so because of this we can tell it is what diamagnetic so it is a diamagnetic substance next what about mu value that is zero there is no unpaired single electrons we can tell this one next low spin or high spin so starting before the ligand two electrons are there after the ligand that also paired so that means what it is a low spin complex so like this first of all you write the central metal next you concentrate on the oxidation state next you supply so whether the given ligand is a strong field or a weak field you can see strong field means electrons are paired weak field means electrons are not paired next how many ligands are there everyone is supplying lone pair to the orbital so based on that hybridization of structure everything is coming so before the ligand after the ligand spin is the same means you called as high spin if decreases means you called as low spin inner d is participated and outer d is participated based on inner orbital complex or outer orbital complex if all electrons are paired means dia mu value is zero if any unpaired single electrons are present then it is a para so n point seven to n point nine borderline electrons so every point you must write like this so this is a vbt importance next the failures of vbt So first of all, what is the success of VBT? We can discuss. So success of VBT. What are that he told? 
para and diamagnetism he told para and diamagnetism is explained next step he explained sigma bonds sigma bonds explained means automatically hybridization is coming hybridization structures bond angles also perfectly explained so these two are the main important of vbt so failures failures of vbt valency bond theory so he told what are that uh, ligands so in what way he told some ligands are strong field ligand some are weak field ligand so strong field what he told cyanide carbon monoxide here cl minus br minus i minus these are so why you are taking these two are strong field means he doesn't explain why these are weak field so that is not explained explanation is not given which is a strong which is a weak why you are taken that one he doesn't explain second next in strong field ligand electrons are paired electrons are paired next in the presence of weak field ligand electrons are not paired in the metal he told so scientists are asking why these electrons are paired here why electrons are not paired so this is also not explained so explanation is not there so that's why these are gone so these are the failures next one more important is there so that is the ammonated copper complexes so third failure ammonated copper complexes are not explained not explained by vbt so that is also very very important in your theory as well as your entrance point of view also so one example of this sir we are taking copper nh3 taken 4 plus 2 this complex suppose according to vbt we will see according to vbt so copper copper is water 29 electronic configuration you can write 3d 10 4s2 4p0 and that is next what is the oxidation state here ammonia is zero plus 2 goes to copper only so copper plus 2 so you can write as 3d 10 2 electrons are gone so 4s0 4p0 so you write electronic configuration so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so here this so now what happens uh, according to empty orbitals are there every ammonia donated a pair of electron to this uh, so third ammonia fourth ammonia so what will be the hybridization according to this uh, sp3 hybridization is sp3 so structure is a tetrahedral bond angle is 109 degrees or 28 minutes next this is what actually 4s1 so 29 3d10 4s1 3d10 4s1 means here it is 9 so one electron is gone one more electron you are taken here so you are getting one single electron is in this so according to vbt we seen sp3 tetrahedral that is a bond angle is 109 degrees but experimentally 
but experimentally we seen what happens the structure is square planar structure is a square planar bond angle is 90 degrees so how it is came so it is according to theory this is experimental which is correct means sir experimental only coming it is a correct because of in the nature is what is happening that is experimental what we are discussing this is called as a theory so theory this is the wrong this is the correct one why this much is happened so means he explained that in the presence of ammonia this electron jumping from here to here so that means what he told copper plus one he told that 3D8, 4S0, 4P1. So if you write 3D8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Next, here, 0, here, P1. So the electron is jumping from here to here, he explained, based on this. So now, here, ammonia. Second ammonia, third ammonia, fourth ammonia. So then, because of jumping of electron here to here means what will be the hybridization? DSP2. So hybridization is DSP2 game. The structure is square planar, bond angle is 90 degrees. So, based on experimental data, he explained the concept correct only. But what he told, the electron is jumping from here to here. Means 3D orbital to 4P orbital, electron is jumping. Why that is jumping here to here, that is also not proper explanation. But anyhow, the given complexes outside, experimentally, how they are coming, that is theoretically is trying to explain. So, after these all, all failures, that crystal field theory is coming in. So in the next class we are going to discuss about crystal field theory.